What up, guys? It's Lionfist here, back with uh, another episode of Let's Play Alien Isolation. This is part 13. Uh, last we left off, uh, I just got done... I think I just got done awakening an android, and uh, I got one of the elevator pieces uh, that I need to install to go down the elevator. Um, I have to head back and deal with uh, the Xeno... And I guess a couple of guys right now. Um, not sure what else. Um, I don't know if there's any other hidden stuff. I don't think so. I think it's just that. I might have missed a couple things. Um, I know that one of the buttons is supposed to turn off the electricity that was on the floor for the android to step on. But uh, I didn't want to turn it off in case that the, Zemo, the Xeno came in. Um, the Xenomorph doesn't uh, attack you if there's uh, electricity in the way he'll perfectly just not do that or excuse me purposely not do that um, anyways um, let's get back into this so uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna leave the mic on but I'm gonna try to be as quiet as possible and I bet the aliens probably gonna sense me a lot and if he does then uh, I'll pause it and then I'll tell you guys I'm gonna mute again so here we go
They were shooting at. <clears throat> okay. Just to be safe, I'm going to save right here, too. <clears throat> Never know what's going to happen. Try the vent then. This place. This place looks safe. This is all shades of fucked up. Trust him. That's a first. Never gone through the game without killing those guys. Always had to. Anyways. So that was a little easier than I thought, because where I left off uh, kind of was, I don't know, I think I died maybe like once or twice. Maybe that was the area before that. Anyways. 
I'm uh, I'm drinking Mountain Dew Game Fuel right now. It's good stuff. I like to drink the uh, citrus cherry flavored one. I don't really like the the new one that they came out with. It doesn't taste right. It has like too much orange in it or mango or something. Right. Um, I was gonna say you can, um, if you want to, you can go back down here. But the thing is, um, that same vent that he let you in, um, it's no longer open, so you can't go through there. So pretty much, if you want to go back through the whole hospital area and whatnot, uh, you can. But that'll be like later on, and it has to be in a different elevator. So you try to do it in that one, it's just not going to happen. I make that look easier than it seems. Sometimes it's kind of hard, but they do a lot faster than that. I just make it look easy for anybody that's... Uh, watching at home. <laughs> Sorry if I make it look too easy. Or if uh, other people that are watching think I'm doing it too slow. Sorry about that too. Anyway. I sent you a clear directive not to land on station. I told you we didn't hear your message. We understood you would be... Hey! Identify yourself. Ripley. From the Torrents. Relax, kid. What the hell is going on here, Marshal? Where's the security forces? You're looking at them. I've seen the creature. What is it? I don't know. Something brought here by Marlow, the captain of the Anisadora. The ship that found the flight recorder. Is there anywhere safe left on this station? That creature's running around, and the Sikhs and synthetics are less than friendly. God damn androids. Ripley. <laughs> Taylor needs a Damn straight. Medical's a no-go. We can't take her there. We have a basic life support unit back at HQ. Then let's go. You sweaty pig mofo. We need the transit to get to HQ, but it's down. Transit control is upstairs. Samuels says you're an engineer. Go make yourself useful. Seeing as you screwed up the trap. <clears throat> yeah, right. We'll talk about that later, Waits. You protect them while I'm gone. Understood? Ricardo, get a lock on our radio so we can stay in touch. <laughs> that wasn't a fart. That was the couch. Nicole got up for a second. <laughs> Anybody's wondering what that noise was. Uh, I'm going to do something really quick because I think it's funny. Because I know later on I'm not going to get to. And I don't like this guy because he's an asshole. Not this guy. He's okay. This guy's cool. Just, uh... Like you like Ripley. Yeah, not this guy. This guy's a dick, so... <laughs> Sorry. I wanted to do it because... If anybody's ever played this game, they know that that guy betrays you. And... It pisses you off, and you just want to shoot him in the face, but then you don't get to because the alien does it for you, and it's like, ah, wanted to shoot him. Well, that was my way of shooting him in the face because I can't stand the guy. What? Hold on one second. If you find our transit service deficient, please fill out one of the forms provided.
Okay. Just, um... I don't know if anybody knows... Hold on one second. I need to mute it again. One second. Okay, I had to remember I was standing here waiting for a minute because I thought I heard something, but no, nah, I was just, um, Nicole had to do something, um, and it was kind of noisy, so I had to mute it for a second. Anyway, um, I was going to say, uh, the last time I played this, this door, if anybody knows, this door will shut on you, and it's kind of stupid that it just shuts. So you have to find another way out. Um, when you come back to this area, you cannot go through that door anymore. But you can go through the vent system, which I will show you later on because I don't have uh, the, I think, is, is it a cutter? I know plasma it's a torch. torch. Plasma torch? Yeah. Well, they call it a plasma cutter. Yeah, so it's a plasma cutter. I don't think she has that yet, so I need to get that first in order to uh, be able to go through the vent system. But yeah, this door, the first time I played this game, this door scared the crap out of her. I don't know why, but it was kind of funny, so I just kept running back and forth to the door. And then uh, that one, um, it stays shut. So when you come through the, the you come through the shaft, or the vent yeah the ventilation I'm sorry guys I'm like stuttering over my words but when you come over uh, through the ventilation and everything it's pretty funny because when you do that um, the alien cannot come in there whatsoever because there are no vents there are vents in here but there's no vents out there other thing that I don't understand Okay, we were just down there. There was nobody down there. There's an android in here, pissed off, pounding on the door. There's no way, no other way to open anything. When I press the computer to try to access um, the, the tram, this guy comes out completely out of nowhere. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about, and it's kind of stupid. And then I had to release the android and get him killed and blah, blah, blah. But you know what's funny? Um, I didn't know that that would happen. But I played this on hard mode. And when I killed the android with a handgun, guess who decided to pop out? Yep. The alien. The stupid Xeno. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do this first really quick. Because I know I'm probably not going to get another chance. There it is. Okay, just had to do that really quick. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and mute it again. I just wanted to uh, say those things, and you'll see what, I, what I'm what i saying. Because um, I know if I start talking or if I yell, you see, and <laughs> I probably will. Uh, I know the guy will hear me, so I'm going to go ahead and mute it, and uh, yeah, I'll get back to you guys soon. I know someone's in here. Calm 
down in there, you android fuck! I just had to do that really quick. I don't know why I missed a couple times, but... Change the light on my flashlight. Guess not. So like I said, um, you use it on that ventilation shaft that we just saw when we were looking around before uh, I went ahead and touched any of the computer stuff. And pretty much, um, you can't go back down the same way that I came up. So I have to cut a hole in order to get through, so... I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, that should be it. So let me show you real quick what I mean. So you can't use an elevator, at least at this point right now, because it's considered damaged. Now, after you cut this open, the next time you come back here in this area, not in here, but the next time you come back to this area, you can pretty much just skip that whole thing. You'll see what I mean.
Ripley, this is Waits. The transit's here. We're waiting on you. Take it. I had some trouble, so it's gonna take me a while to get back. We can wait. <laughs> Taylor can't. I can catch the next car. Your call. That was Nicole Sneeze. Okay, so this is this is another thing I was talking about. If the alien were to come out, like when you're in this area, all you have to do is go to this, turn off the door access. Boom. What? Wait a minute. It's supposed to stop the door from shutting. What what's going on? Is it the other door? Oh, it's the other door. Okay, well, I was thinking the wrong door. Sorry, guys. So, yeah, see? You can't come in this door anymore. And the door that I opened... Uh, I think it's this one. One... I think it's that little square box right there. So let me go see if I can go to it. Ripley, we heard voices as we left. Watch yourself. I think the alien comes out again. I'm not sure. Supplies, guns, food, wherever we can find it. <sighs> I should have been standing when I threw that. My bad, guys. Made myself jump, too. <laughs> oh, no. Ah. Oh, I feel stupid. I think I just... Yep, I gotta do all that stuff again. Uh, yeah. Let's let's get to it then. Let's try to do it a lot faster. Because sometimes the game will glitch, and when you stand stationary, you're not supposed to move whatsoever. And there is a couple times where the game is glitched, and when you come off of the elevator, your person will keep moving. I thought that's what happened. Ah, uh, yeah. Let me do this again. I'm sorry, guys. Made it 
dumb rookie mistake. I killed myself by accident. Someone shut everything off. Oh! I know someone's in here! Sorry about that again, guys. Uh, my clock went off, and uh, yeah, I just I tried to catch the mute button, but it didn't work. Anyway, yeah, so try to do it a little faster if I could. Let me see. I do have to read these. It's kind of annoying, but it's part of the game. If I don't read them, pretty much the game doesn't count 100% completion. I never, I don't think I've ever gotten 100% completion, to be honest. I've gotten close, but never 100%. I think that's because I forget things and I, and I don't like to backtrack most times unless I have to. It's kind of, kind of my fault. Anyway, let me save here just in case if that happens again, if I kill myself. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. Let's see. Let's go ahead and go that way. Take it. I had some trouble, so it's gonna take me a while to get back. We can wait. Taylor can't. I can catch the next car. Your call.
How's that? Okay, so this is the door I was talking about. If you were to come by this, this way again, you could just lock yourself in here. The alien has no way of getting you. So if you have nowhere to hide in this area, this is like the best place. Um, this is where I like to go in case if he comes down somewhere and I don't know what to do. This is my little escape area. Just so that way I don't get eaten. <laughs> rather not have my face munched off while I'm trying to uh, do what I need to do, you know? <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the only one, but still. Anyway, I just thought that I would point that out. So, in this area, if you're in a pickle, just, uh, yes, I said pickle. Let's go ahead and uh, turn off the door access. If you're not in a pickle, then you don't really have to worry. And I don't think... No, I don't think I can cut this door open. Let me see if I can. I don't think I can, though. I think I need an access tuner for it. Yeah, I do. Okay. footsteps. Sure. Yeah, it is. Okay, so it is number two that I go through. <laughs> I know to most people that's funny. I think it's funny. Number two. Please do not leave baggage or equipment unattended. I will. <clears throat> Need some, like, elevator music or something. So when we get to the next area, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and save and uh, end this episode right here. Um, I'm going to continue in the next episode. Um, so uh, that'll be part 14. So let me go ahead and get to that area and I'll save and then we'll continue from there.
the door didn't open. Oh, okay. Station serving the Solomon's Galleria Mall, Colonial Marshal Bureau, and the Seeks and Habitation Suites. Alright guys, so I guess I'll see you on the next episode. Um, don't forget to uh, leave me a like and a comment. And if you really like my videos, go ahead and subscribe. I come out with different ones um, all the time. Um, almost every week. And I try to get them out as best as I can. I uh, got different things going on. So, yeah. Alright, see you guys in the next episode.